While making my recap video for 2023, I realized just how many viral moments were considered controversial or a scandal, so many strange things happened this year. This video will look at the news that was considered scandalous slash controversial, these are not my opinions, I won't go into too much detail because this is just a summary video. <laughs> New Jeans Danielle apologizes for calling Lunar New Year Chinese New Year. Ive Wanyang and Isa accused of lip-syncing while sitting down. This happened in December 2022 but talk continued into January 2023. Netizens criticized Ives Wanyang for the way she was eating pizza for a CF, many defended her because that's how everyone eats in advertisement. Airport staff accused of being unprofessional toward an hypen. Chinese drama apologized for using Blackpink's Rosé's photo as an image of a sex worker. Kako and Hybe buy shares in SM, Hybe is accused of monopolizing K-pop, Hybe later sells SM shares, all the while, Lee Sumon was exposed for many things including trying to make SM artists sing about trees. BTS's Jimin criticized for his encore stage. Twice stylist criticized for giving Chaeyoung a controversial shirt, Chaeyoung also was criticized and apologized for wearing a Nazi shirt. Ravi leaves Vix and apologizes for faking epilepsy to evade military service. Blackpink Rosé was rumored to be dating actor Kang Dongwon, while simultaneously being accused of drug abuse over this photo, none of it was true. Got 7's Bam Bam caught in a misunderstanding when he said New Jeans Helene is an idol he likes these days, referring to being a fan, not an ideal type. Treasure Chehyuk almost catches on fire while on stage. Netizens claim idols queen card dance where they touch their chest and butt is provocative and inappropriate. Baby monsters Ahyun under fire for using a racial slur. The number one must-have job in 2023 was definitely protest trucks. Fans sent protest trucks for everything. The most memorable has to be the protest truck for an hypen's Bite Me choreography. Fans weren't happy with female dancers in the Bite Me performance so they demanded Hybe to remove them, they were not removed. Towards the end of 2022 leaked photos from Jenny's iCloud exposed her relationship with BTS's V, news of their relationship continued into 2023 when they were allegedly spotted together in Paris. Many fans tried to debunk it but Jenny posted photos from her Paris trip where she's wearing the same outfit. This unconfirmed relationship led to an unconfirmed breakup just before the year ended. Tomorrow by together's Taehyun caught clubbing, many commented on how boring the club looked. Lucas left NCT and Wavy. EXO's Baekhyun, Shumin, and Chen sue to terminate contract with SM Entertainment but later decide to stay with SM after resolving misunderstandings. New Jeans ETA received backlash for its similarities with the Spanish terrorist group, ETA. Agency confirmed that Nujinza's ETA stands for Estimated Time of Arrival. Cupid becomes the biggest K-pop song of 2023, but all members of 5050 filed lawsuit against their agency Attract. Kina later withdrew lawsuit to terminate contract and return to Attract. Jenny criticized for her provocative dance in The Idol. Idol's Mion was called boy crazy for doing multiple dance challenges with boy groups even though she was an MC and MCs are known for doing the most challenges. Yena's Hate Rodrigo caused a controversy for her reference of Olivia Rodrigo. Her music was re-edited and she cancelled promotions. Netizens believe Enmix's Lily was upset during a fan sign after receiving no gifts. Fans defend Ives Wanyang after she was accused of being rude towards a child. She smiled at first but was surprised and caught off guard when he tried to touch her. Fan tried to approach and touch Got 7's Jackson. 80's San apologized for singing the Curry song, which is acknowledged by the original singer as a problematic song. Scene from Somi's Fast Forward was removed after plagiarism allegations. Stray Kids Bang Chan stopped his live stream series Chan's Room following a comment he made about generational differences in greeting etiquette that resulted in I've getting wrongfully accused. Apologize to Lisa Trends Worldwide after one of the largest New Jeans fanbase accounts insults Blackpink's Lisa. 17th Joshua received malicious comments after a netizen found multiple matching items he had with an influencer that led to the exposure of his relationship. Mamamoo's Hwasa was questioned by the police for alleged indecent performance, police dropped the charges against her. Not long after, she was criticized for her Britney Spears-inspired school uniform on Knowing Brothers. BTS's Jungkook caught smoking outside LA restaurant. 
twice Nyon wins lawsuit after mother's ex sued her for $450,000. Not long after SM revealed their new boy group, Rise, two members had their photos leaked. So he's past photos showed him at a hunting bar, which resulted in fans wanting him to be removed from the group, mocking his appearance and even went as far as to mock him for being poor. The hate quieted down when news came out about Sung Han, photos were leaked of him kissing his girlfriend, the witch hunt started after more photos and videos were leaked of him having an Instagram live with four people on two occasions and one of him smoking. While he didn't do anything wrong the leaked photos and videos may be viewed as him not caring about his idol image, as a result he was put on hiatus. One Instagram live was with Tomorrow Bye Together Subin where La Seraphim Zunche was mentioned, they didn't say anything bad about her but fans didn't want her name to be associated with him. During the Instagram live Subin showed his middle toe. Subin's toe led to netizens digging up anything they can criticize, they found a live from 2022 where he mentions the anime Made in Abyss, this critically acclaimed anime was said to be inappropriate and disturbing, other idols who mentioned this anime was also dragged into it. It sees Leah went on hiatus due to health concerns, she will be continuing her hiatus this year. BTS's V's stalker arrested, she followed V into the elevator of his apartment building and attempted to speak to him, she also handed him a marriage certificate. Shinies Taemin and Ki received backlash for colorist comment towards Minho, they both apologized. Lisa performed at Crazy Horse, which was met with a lot of backlash. Minji wrongfully accused of being a smoker because of her hand gesture. Karina criticized for bringing up other groups when talking about Espa's relationship. Espis Karina was rumored to be dating BTS's RM and Zero Base One's Hanbin. Ahyun left Baby Monster due to personal reasons, it wasn't made clear if it was permanent. La Seraphim's Chewon was accused of copying Espis Winter's hair on multiple occasions, all of which she's had before during her IZ1 days. Blackpink renewed their contract with YG Entertainment, but not their individual contracts and Jenny launched her own label. 22-year-old stylist accused of inappropriate relationship with fantasy boys Kim Kire, label denies claims and warned legal action against those who spread malicious rumors. Big Bang's G-Dragon was dragged in drug-related charges following actor Lee sung hyuns drug scandal, G-Dragon found not guilty. Other idols' names that were falsely dragged into this was La Seraphim's Chowan and idol Soyeon, none of it was true. Boy Next Door's agency apologized after bodyguard pushed a fan at the airport. Many idols were called out for endorsing brands like Starbucks and McDonald's following the boycotting, a few idols have taken action by deleting content related to those brands. Thank you for watching, of course this video does not cover everything but I'll try to keep you all updated with K-pop this year, on this channel and my second channel which is dedicated to K-pop daily updates.